Hi, Candace. It's Lou Manfredini. Hi, Lou. How are you? Terrific. Thanks so much for joining me once again. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. So let's talk about DIY. How many people get injured doing do-it-yourself projects every year? Too many. Um, the, uh, we uh, just did a recent survey. Uh, you know, I work with the 3M Tech Protection brand, and uh, they, along with the National Safety Council, just did a survey asking DIYers, hey, what's the story? Uh, you know, can you tell us what your experience has been when you're doing these projects? 36% of the DIYers said that they were injured while doing work in and around their home. Now, that isn't so surprising to me, but this was 70%. 7% admitted that they skipped any kind of recommended protective gear that was needed for a project or, or maybe a tool that they purchased. They just didn't even consider it. They said, I'm not going to use it. And, and that's a little bit of alarming. It is alarming to me because I think that people just don't understand how important it is to be safe when you're doing these projects. And it creates a little bit of apathy that can then get people hurt. Then kind of the normal things we do, 39% of the people said, oh, you know, when I mow the lawn, I've been hurt. And so, um, you know, these are everyday projects that many of us do. And I really want to try and uh, help people understand that there are little things you can do to keep yourself safe so that you can be in good shape to do uh, projects day in and day out. Well, I just know from wearing sandals outside and trying to move things around, I have stubbed my toad numerous times right hit it today so right. yeah i Sim can completely understand that simple stuff you're out there wearing sandals or flip-flops and oh i'm just going to move this piece of furniture and you know look i think it's it's unrealistic for me to say uh candace when you go out and move that furniture put on some work boots but you know other things uh, like safety glasses this is kind of my my thing that i'm beating the drum on mostly this needs to become second nature and there's really no excuse not to wear safety glasses anymore because they're very stylish and they're very comfortable to wear. They're not like what we used to wear in science class. Now, 3M Tech Protection brand has all different kinds of safety glasses, but this Force Flex Max that they have, which is really unique, the frames themselves are, are so durable that you can squeeze it and twist it and step on it, and the lenses aren't gonna break, the frame's not gonna lose its shape, so that when you put it back on, it's still comfortable to wear, and quite frankly, you don't even know you're wearing them. And so that's what I want people to get in the habit of because stuff can fly in your eyes in any kind of project. You could be scraping some paint off of the overhang of your house. You could be using that lawnmower and something could fly up in the air. You just want to be smart. We only get two eyes and this needs to become second nature when we're doing work in and around our homes. And what other safety concerns would you say are often overlooked? I think uh, one is protecting our hearing and the other one is protecting our lungs. Now a lot of the equipment that we use and the projects we use uh, you know make a lot of noise and we don't think about our hearing. Disposable foam earplugs that you kind of spin in your fingers and then place into your ears and they expand will cut the decibel levels dramatically of what's coming in. Or if you want to do something a little bit uh, uh, more extensive you can wear protective earmuffs, and there's even a product called Work Tunes, which is a set of earmuffs that cancel the noise tremendously, but there's a built-in AM, FM radio, and it also has an MP3 capability where you can plug in your MP3 player, and it only retails for about $60, and uh, it's quite frankly, you don't even know you have those on, and it's kind of fun to wear when you're working pro doing projects around your home. That'd be great. Yeah. And then your lungs. Uh, this is something that, you know, especially during the summer months when you're out there doing projects, maybe stripping a piece of furniture or you're working with some kind of paint that's kicking out some fumes, you don't want to be breathing all that stuff in. Or maybe you're doing some sanding where dust is in the air. Uh, the respirators are very important to wear. One downside to the old ones, like when you're doing a painting respirator or something like that, you're wearing the safety glasses and you're exhaling and you fog up the glasses. Then you take everything off and then you're defeating the purpose altogether. 3M Tech came out with this cool flow valve on the front, which is like a little flapper that when you exhale, all the air goes out and there's no fogging anymore on your glasses. Very uh, reasonably priced. I mean, we're talking about a few dollars, but priceless as to what it does to protect your lungs from breathing in this stuff. Well, thanks for the great tips, Lou. Where can we go for more information? We put a bunch of tips and information at 3mtech.com. That's the number 3mtech.com. Well, thank you so much. Have a great afternoon. You too. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.